myself Arvind Bajwal and I am here to explain about linear system simulator kit. The kit which we are using here has order code 52042. Let's move on to the kit. Move on to panel description. The present setup has been designed to provide a convenient means of studying transient response response of linear system. Special attention has been given at every stage to make the system operational, simple and straightforward. So now let me discuss some components of this kit. Number one, two different wave level monitor, modulators, one frequency port, uh, a disturbance input, feedback and here we have the ref. Here we get the gain with this knob to increase or decrease the gain of the system. Here we have integrator, time constant with one input and one output. Here we have another time constant with two inputs and one output. Here we have un uncommitted amplifier and the last one is disturbance and here we have earth. Now let's move on further to the first object of this experiment. Number one, open loop response of first order system. Let's go on with the connections. First, connect the level one of square wave to the REF point given here. Now connect time constant from gains output to time constants input. Now we will connect the time constants output from here to the time constant seconds input. Now we will connect the CRO pins. Now we will put CRO on this point and the ground of CRO at this point. Now you can see that we have connected all the circuits and when we will switch on the circuit you can see this wave coming on CR. On increasing the gain the wave changes its waveform you can see that when I am increasing the gain knob the wave changes. You can refer the wave from the manual. With this we wind up our first experiment open loop response on first order system. Start with experiment number 2, closed response of first order system. Connect the first level square wave to the input here at refer. Now connect feedback to the input port of uncommitted amplifier. Now connect the gain output to the input of integrator here. At last connect integrator's output to the uncommitted amplifier's output and then continue to connect the CRO at the output of uncommitted amplifier and the second port to the ground here. Switch on the CRO and switch on the kit and now we will slowly increase the gain to see the wave in the CR. As I increase the gain you can see the changing wave in the CR. On gradually increasing it we will get the required wave. You can see here. Now with this we wind up our experiment number 2 closed loop response of first order system. Let's start with object number 3 closed loop response of second order system. Now let's go with the procedure. Choose and wire a suitable second order system configuration. Apply a 1 volt PP step input and trace the output waveform on a tracing paper from different values of K. Obtain peak percent overshoot setting time rise time steady time error from tracing and calculation. We will connect the square of level 1 to REF point here and then we will connect the gain present here to the input of time constant then we will take out the input output from the time constant and put in this x5 pin input of time constant 2 then we will then we will take out the output from time constant and put it in the feedback now we will connect CRO across negative terminal at time constant point 
and positive terminal at REF point here. This is the initial square wave which we are getting. When we will slowly increase the gain, you can see that the waveform is changing. Now you can see it changing more and more. So this is the waveform which we get after putting the gain in the system. We conclude our experiment number 3, closed loop response of second order system. Now let's move on to the fourth experiment which is closed loop step response of third order system. So let's move on to the procedure of this experiment. Firstly you will need to connect this level of square output to REF point here then connect the output of gain from here to input of time constant here. Now connect the output of time constant here to the time constant inputs first port here. Now connect the other port to ground point here. Then connect the output of time constant to the inverter input here. Then connect inverter output from here to the uncommitted amplifiers input. Now connect uncommitted amplifiers output to the feedback. Now connect disturbance point here to the ground present here. Now this time we will connect the CRO at integrator output and the second point at this ground. Now when we will switch on the CRO and power on this linear system kit then when we will slowly increase the gain in the system now when we will slowly increase the gain in the system you can see the vibrations you can now you can see the waveform present here this we wind up our experiment fourth closed loop step response of third order system with this we wind up our explanation on phase sequence simulator kit if you have any queries contact tesla technologies private limited if you like the video please like share and subscribe